Hello. So today it is day 17 in the 67 steps. Now, let me bring out my old notebook to see what I actually had learned from before in the day 17. So day 17 is Elon, I'm sorry, I'm eating and I'm drinking. Elon Musk, 14 hour work week, work, work. Elon Musk, 14 hour work day versus the four hour week, work week. The more you work and don't procrastinate, the further you will go. Elon Musk is, um, he's the founder of three companies that started from scratch, from zero and scaled up to a billion dollars. He's the only entrepreneur in the world who has started three companies from scratch and then raised it up to um, a billion dollar company. And um, which is SpaceX. SpaceX. Some solar company. A Tesla. Okay. Man is all about saving energy and all this. But he says that um that what it usually if you work a hundred hours a week, we usually if you work a hundred hours a a week while everybody works forty hours a week, you will get what they what it takes them a year to get done, you will get it done in six to four months. True. So that's the reason why Elon Musk has accomplished so much. And um, you got to learn to love the grind. Learn to think 50 years ahead. Learn to think not in the moment, which a lot of people say. Learn how to think outside of the moment. Like, I, like think about when you're going to be 80 years old. You're going to be like, damn, I wish I had the energy to get up and do all, all this stuff. It's very true. One day you're gonna be like eighty. That's 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 crazy. Cause now that I'm thinking about it, like it's true. One day I will be eighty, and I'm gonna wish I would. I could have done everything that I wanted to do. All the energy that I had. Um, and it says, get excited. Do the things you don't like to do. You gotta be out of the moment. And you gotta be balanced and have the right mindset. Have momentum and move. I was a pretty shit note taker. Pretty shitty note taker back in March 9th, 2016. Holy shit. And today I was. Whatever. So, Ty. Um, Thomas Edison said that he thinks God nobody influenced him on the eight hour work week because he, he believed that somebody had influenced him to work eight hours a day, he wouldn't accomplish nowhere near as much. And this country would have not accomplished nowhere near as much if the average person believed that it takes eight hours a, a week, six hours, six hours a day to have massive success into something. And then Ty also says that um, to out like in business and stuff, you cannot outsource everything. Like there are going to be a lot of things you can't outsource, but there are going to be some little minute, minute, small small things that you have to do and although you are gonna hate doing it like accounting you have to do it which sometimes you can't outsource everything sometimes you just got to be the one to do it for example like bill gates bill gates like if somebody one day quits his job and what he in like let's say computer designing or something like that the man could easily step up and do it you know and um that's pretty much you must know you must know the work and what it takes to complete a work and your expectations to be able to outsource it to somebody else for the most part. And um, also like Nelson Mandela, Nelson Mandela did 25 years in prison and he grinded it out. You must learn to grind, to grind. The li life is the grind. And if you get rid of work, you get rid of life. You must learn to love the grind. I must learn to love the grind. I must learn to love the grind. I must learn to love the grind. Nelson Mandela did 25 years in prison. He grinded that out, and then he ended up changing the world. If Nelson Mandela could do that, I could do it. And um, a lot of people think they, you know, they have this mindset about the four-hour work week, thinking that you know that's the life, that's that's you know that's the job that you want to get into, the job that's only four hours a week. But remember, what if you, um, when you're looking for a wife, well, what, you want to spend four hours a week looking for a wife? No. A, so a job that you do has to be something that you do in your spare time, something that you do for fun, something that, you know, that you, you can't escape. 
It's something, it's something that you, that you, that is loving what you do. And, um, and you know, having a like to it, it's like, let's say your girlfriend, like your wife, your future wife, you think you're going to spend four hours a week with her and then have massive happiness, success with her. I hope she doesn't cheat on you. Bad. So that's the way, that's a good way to think about it. Like. If you believe in this four hour work week, believe in a four hour work week with your wife. You think it's gonna work out? No. So with that being said, that was the end of um day seventeen. And recap is and, and recap is Elon Musk, a man who has done so much for the world. He believes in working at long hours. I mean, of course life is a balance, but I mean sometimes you do have to grind it out. But if you end up, but if you end up surrounding yourself with things you love doing, then you really the grind becomes easier, easier and easier. You know, with time it takes. You know, with time, just with time, everything becomes easier. So just you know, grind things out. Just grind it out. Just grind it out. And remember, if you work a hundred hours while everybody's working only forty, you will get what they takes them a year in six to four months. That's the reason why he's successful. So besides that, on day 18, clocking out, I'm doing two. I slacked yesterday. I knocked out. Me and my friends were doing some, uh, it was like a comedy thing, and I slacked. But that's an excuse either way, clocking out.